Okay, the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create new content on the site. Suppose we'd like to add a new page to this uh, networking site. So what we'd want to do is we want to navigate to the page that will be the parent page. Let's say, for example, that we'd like to add a page under existing processes. So you click and navigate to that page, and then down here, click Add a New Page. Now, I want to show you something here. Um, we're going to be using templates. Anytime that uh, we want that widget at the right to show up that uh, shows a link to the box.net files, I've created a template for that that is this two-column box.net template. So if you think this is a, uh, a page where there will be files uploaded or downloaded, I suggest you choose this template. Otherwise, you can just use a blank page. Then you just give the page a name. So I'm just going to call this test page. And you can add any tags that you like. Uh, uh, it's optional, but we'll just say add page. And what that does is it gives you a new page underneath existing processes. And there's two sections. The right section is uh, our good old box.net widget. And then the left is the content. So then you can just go in and add whatever content you like. Um, and do any other editing. OK, so that's basically, again, don't forget to save. And if you want to, you can say what the edit is about. But let's just skip that. And then your new page will show up there. And it will be linked under existing processes. Well, if you want to put a link into it, you would need to put it on. You would need to put a link into this page. But here we have this kind of this orphan page. But I'm going to d delete that anyway. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial.